Welcome to Beyond Borders Briefing, where we bring you the latest news and analysis on the world's most pressing issues. In today's episode, we'll be looking at the escalating conflict in Ukraine, where the death toll has risen dramatically this year, according to U.S. officials. The war in eastern Ukraine, which began in 2014 after Russia annexed Crimea and backed separatist rebels, has claimed the lives of nearly 500,000 Russian and Ukrainian soldiers, U.S. officials have told The New York Times. This marks a significant increase from the previous estimate of 200,000 casualties in November last year. The officials said they had estimated the data using satellite imagery, communication intercepts, social media and news media dispatches from reporters in the country, as well as official reporting from both governments. They cautioned that casualty figures remain difficult to estimate because Moscow is believed to routinely undercount its war dead and injured, and Kyiv does not disclose official figures. The surge in deaths is attributed to intense fighting near Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine, where Russia sent convicts in human wave attacks, and an unsuccessful Ukrainian counteroffensive against fortified Russian positions. Both sides have suffered heavy losses, with Ukraine having close to 70,000 killed and 100,000 120,000 wounded, and Russia approaching 300,000 killed and 120,000 wounded. The conflict has also taken a toll on civilians, who have been caught in the crossfire or displaced by the violence. According to the UN, more than 13,000 civilians have been killed and over 1.5 million have been internally displaced since 2014. The humanitarian situation remains dire, with millions of people in need of food, water, shelter and medical assistance. The war in Ukraine has also strained the relations between Russia and the West, which have imposed sanctions on each other and accused each other of violating the Minsk agreements, a set of peace accords signed in 2015 to end the hostilities. The US and its allies have expressed support for Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity and have provided military aid and training to its forces for. Russia has denounced the Western involvement as interference and provocation, and has warned of a possible escalation if NATO expands its presence near its borders. The prospects for a peaceful resolution of the conflict remain bleak, as both sides remain entrenched in their positions and unwilling to compromise. The recent meeting between US President Joe Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin in Geneva did not produce any breakthroughs on the issue of Ukraine. The two leaders agreed to continue dialogue and cooperation on strategic stability and cybersecurity, but acknowledged their differences on human rights and democracy. As the war in Ukraine enters its eighth year, the human cost continues to rise. The international community faces a challenge to prevent further escalation and find a lasting solution to end the suffering of millions of people. What do you think can be done to end the war in Ukraine? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching Beyond Borders Briefing. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more news and analysis. See you next time.